Oh, uh, yes, my Yeti microphone working. <laughs> I've got to like plug the headphone into the microphone so I can hear properly. Ugh. There. Wow, it went from like two to like 125. <laughs> That was really funny. Okay, yay! Hello, people. It's Monique, and I just got home, and I am so tired. <laughs> like when you've been awake, so eyes are starting to hurt. Like the part of your eye in your head, my eyes are starting to turn red. And literally after this broadcast, which is gonna be maybe an hour, I am going to pass out. I've been drinking tea like crazy because I have got the worst kind of hoarse voice as you could hear it's not a cold it's just from talking and going <laughs> but yeah i'm just so happy that today turned out all the deadlines are met honestly it was a very challenging week today is supposed to be my day off but i i worked because it needed to be done which really sucks um and I spilt my entire purse in my big purse. So I've got like change everywhere, which really sucks as well. So I'm gonna have to do some cleaning. Oh, but today, what's really cool is last night I did a new YouTube videos on end screens or end cards. And just to show what they are and how to add them. And today, before I pass out, <laughs> I'm going to do a video about how to use cards in general so like the cards are the item that's like in the top right hand corner of all youtube videos it has like a little eye and like question mark circle kind of thing and so i'm going to show people how to do that oh my gosh i don't know why i'm putting this it's kind of like chapstick ish it looks like lipstick but it's really chapstick i think it's from revlon i'm trying to find the thing yeah it is it's from revlon and it is called, what is it called? Carnival Spirit. Like, Island Paradise. <laughs> Doesn't really look like Carnival Spirit, it just looks like chapstick. Anyhow, it looks pretty cool. Instead of my bright pink one. I love pink, so I like to wear bright pink and stuff sometimes, but my goodness. It's weird, my brain is like in overdrive right now. Oh my god, so there's something I wanted to show you guys. Oh hey, new people who are watching. Sorry, I have to share this to my Instagram and my Snapchat as well. Hi, LeChuck Strikes Back. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? BHK Man2039. So it has been literally five years since this has happened. Yesterday, I broke the comb. My hair has become that thick that I broke the comb. Usually I use the super big comb to like do the first combing through my hair and then I use this one to like if I have knots or anything like that or just to go through to make it smoother and it broke. How does a comb broken, break in your hair? And it wasn't even like braided or anything or twisted. So it's like the first time in like five years. So that means my hair is growing, which is great. <laughs> It's bad. I'm not going to throw it away or anything. I'll just like turn it around because they're all kind of even. It's not like I'll, I'll go like this and I'll pretend that it's not broken. If another one breaks off, then I will throw it away. I just got home. Like I was saying, I was taking pictures of this special event today, this morning, and writing a story for it. And it was like the deadline day, but it's my day off. So usually I have everything done before Saturday because you know Sunday and Monday are my days off and I'm not supposed to be working and I just went and did this event because I like them <laughs> and because they asked really early and so I was like okay I'll do it and yeah it was deadline day so I had a bunch of other things to do and so now it's 1 55 and time for me to go to sleep which is really weird too. And if you can hear something in the background, it's because I'm washing my clothes. <laughs> it's cool, tomorrow I'm gonna go take some photos of a special function with the Lieutenant Governor. <sighs> <laughs> Hi.
Hi, Richie Rich. How's it going? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to show the pictures just because those are going to be published. But if you go to my Twitter page, I'm going to put the latest pictures that were on, like, the front page. I'll put those ones on my Twitter or I'll, like, retweet them and everything so you can see them. But, like I said, uh, yesterday the video on my YouTube channel was... Um, how to use end screens and so that's like the thing at the end like in the last 10 seconds of YouTube videos where it shows like uh, your picture where people can click on it and subscribe to your channel and it shows like recommended videos so you can watch on their channel so before YouTube came up with um, end screens they had something called annotations where you put like a little speech bubble around and say hey if you like this, go watch my, more of my videos and people would click on it and it would take them to a link. So you don't have to do that anymore. You just click on the template now, put in the picture you want, and it just automatically does it for you. It's amazing. I was just like, yes, end screens, I love you. So that video is how to use end screens. I don't really call them end screens. I call them end cards because that's what they are. They're like cards. So, um... Today, I'm going to be putting up a video on how to use cards in general, and those are like, like I said, it's a little kind of bubble with an eye on it that says, like, it's in the top right hand corner of videos where you mouse over it, and it can show, like, products, links, links to your book, pictures, links to a recommended video, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to talk about that, and that video is going to be out in two hours. <laughs> While I'm sleeping, it's going to be uploading. I'm just gonna go to my YouTube channel right now just so I can put like the link in but I'm sure you can like check out my YouTube channel um, if you click on my name on you now please fan me up on you now as well people if you are watching a couple people left here but yeah so that's my YouTube channel and this is my Twitter actually I have to check my Twitter right now my phone is always with me like I said and I did not share it to Snapchat, which I'm in love with. I'll show you my snap code before I share it. Should always do that. Hey, Sandra is back. Anyhow, so that's my snap code. I didn't realize how like responsive this mic is. That's my snap code. So if you wanna add me on Snapchat, that's cool. Isn't it cute? It looks like me. Oh, you can't really see my fro because it's like held down by the headphones. Okay, let's take a picture. It's too bad I can't take a picture with you guys. Like, I, if we guessed it, then I could, but... Oh, they have some new cute ones. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna share it on my Twitter, too. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm only going to speak for an hour today because I'm going to go rest and have some tea. I've got some stuff to drink right now. I've got to do my workout after, but I'm going to go to sleep first because my voice is going, which really sucks. Okay, I want to do it in like blue. Yeah, let's, let's write in blue. saying come hang out on you now before I sleep it's too bad you can't like move it oh yeah you can <laughs> that was really stupid I was like it's too bad you can't move it and you can move it down okay I'm just sharing this broadcast and I'm gonna share it onto my Twitter page too I'm gonna go back to my story Oh, this is a picture of the rink during, like, right before the second period. And this is the broadcast yesterday. It was, like, pitch black, so I was kind of, like, I weirded out because I turned off all the lights. I was trying to get extra sleep. I'm, I feel like I'm always trying to get extra sleep. Hi, what's your name? Louis F... If Uad... I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, please fan me up here on you now. Thank you to everybody that gave me a wall. Somebody gave me six likes or five likes. Thank you very much for those likes. Please share this broadcast as well. Lots of people are sharing the broadcast, I realize, whenever I say that. Because uh, I checked the last time, it was like 46 out of 30 that's required. I'm trying to get to the next level. I'm trying to level up. I don't mean by, like, number-wise to, like, 26 or 27 or something. I think I'm about 27 right now. Maybe 26. 
on 227. But uh, when I say level up, I just mean to get to like rising star, I think. I don't know what I'm at right now. I think I'm, I'm, I've got like a little camera thing, so I don't know what it is though. It's either rising star or like, I don't know, it's like half, uh, like three little stars or something like that. Oh wow, my phone has just told me, Oni gift up used up 94% of your monthly allowance. It's a great thing that the month ends next week. <laughs> so I can't share this. I can share it on, oops, I can share it on Twitter, which I will. Somebody just sent me a text too. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think it's just horrible how in Canada, so I'm in Canada right now. Hi, what's your name? I I don't even know how to say your name. <laughs> Spo in you. I am sorry. You. Hello you. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, and now they're telling me to top up my data. It's just like I'm gonna I'm not turning off the phone. I love this phone. But honestly in Canada, they just like there's no such thing as unlimited data in Canada. Can you imagine that? So like I have to pay an extra $40 now if I want to get more data, if I want to be able to send some pictures. It's just like, ding you, $40, $50, $120. Like seriously, it's ridiculous. Look, this is the phone company sending me a thing saying, you've used up your data, I bet. Yes, I didn't even send anything. I swear, like you saw that it was on, <laughs> look at this. Look, I didn't even send anything. And it goes, it sends, you've used up 94% of your data or whatever. And then it sent another thing and it counted its own, uh, its own message as me using the data. It's ridiculous. I don't know. This is really, really, really weird. And now my phone is trying to like read what I'm saying. It's ridiculous. I can't stand it. I bet it's not even gonna allow me to top it up. I can't stand my phone provider. Yes, now it says you're not allowed to top it up. Like how ridiculous is that? So I didn't send any messages and it just used up 5% of my data. This is ridiculous. I don't care. I have never seen anything like that. And I, I complain about it a lot because look, to get 300 megabytes, not even a gigabyte, not even half a gigabyte, it's $7. I am not lying. This is what their terms are. To get two gigabytes, you have to pay 20 more dollars. And I haven't sent a single thing. It's Rogers, a company in Canada. It's so unfair. And then you have to wait until November 20th. I can't send anything else. I can still use text and stuff, but I can't send anything else, which I think is ridiculous. So I'm still going to be using Twitter and all that social media and everything, but I just think it's ridiculous that I can't send pictures. I've sent like, what, five pictures out of the whole month? <laughs> oh my god. I really, I hate my cell phone provider, but there's only one other company in all of Canada that does cell phones, <laughs> which I think is ridiculous. Actually, sorry, there's two. There's Apple, there's Telus, and Rogers in our area and that's it and it's the government of canada has allowed them to create this big monopoly so you can't get like <coughs> plans <coughs> for other smaller companies like i wish that t-mobile was in canada i remember when i was in like beginning of college i worked at a college <coughs> 
<coughs> a call center for T-Mobile. And it was amazing the amount of plans that people in the United States could get. Unlimited calls, unlimited lines for only a couple, you know, dollars a month. And so, like, you can make as many calls as you want and as many whatever text messages as you want. And you can have four or five lines and stuff. It was just amazing. I, I don't know why. For some reason, they will not come to Canada. I've been asking for years. I even sent an email to T-Mobile just asking if they could start a business in Canada. It's just ridiculous. Hi. I'm not really going to guess anybody. It's only been 15 minutes into my broadcast. <coughs> I don't know. I ate sunflower seeds. I think that's what's making me cough so bad today. I don't think this thing's gonna work. Yeah, it's totally like burnt out. Oh, that smash was me dropping the mic. Everything looks like it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But that was me. I was really lucky. Holy crap, I could have smashed the table. The table's made out of glass. <laughs> oh my god, okay. But hopefully you're not like a gross person because there are lots of gross people here on you now. I'm guesting you now. <laughs> you now, you know, like guesting you now. Hello? Hello. I don't hear anything from you. All I hear is, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All I hear is, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Oh, oh, he just froze for a second there. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. If you're going to dance, you should have music. <laughs> well, thank you. That was super entertaining. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Yeah. I'm just like leery about, oh my God, that's sorry. That's the washing machine. I'm like super leery about guesting with people at the beginning of the broadcast because there are some really bad people sometimes here on you now, and then you have to like cut them off. And sometimes I broadcast my, um, my channel to YouTube. So it's horrible if they do something on your broadcast that's inappropriate because it's like everybody who's on YouTube say you have 10,000 followers all those people have the chance to watch that horrible thing and you know so that's why I don't guess until the end so that if something does happen that's really bad like I've had people do really obscene acts and stuff on camera so if they do do that I can cut the video short and just end it thank you very much BHK man 2039 that was amusing <laughs> I'm going to follow you because it was funny <laughs> anyhow yeah what else happened this week tons of stuff happened in this last week it's only Monday and it feels like Friday to me but yeah next week is Halloween 
Oh my god, next week is Halloween. Can you imagine that? Oh, it's gonna be so tiring. Handing out candy, and I haven't even thought about decorating and buying the candy and getting outfits and all that stuff. I hadn't thought of all that. Oh. I watched The Godfather, the first part, yesterday. And I don't remember it being so... Not violent, but some of the things, like... Um, the brother Sonny, how he dies in that movie is that he's always running to go like defend his sister from her horrible deadbeat husband. And uh, one day he like beats her up while she's pregnant. Yeah, and the Godfather messed up. And well, I remember watching that last night. I was like, I do not remember watching that and seeing that. Maybe they had it on TV and they cut that part out in TV when I was a kid when I watched it so I was just kind of like I don't remember that anyhow so I watched and I was like so disturbed while I was watching it I was like holy crap anyhow so um I'm gonna watch the rest of them today well actually in a second but um like as I go to sleep I'm gonna sleep on the couch I'm not gonna get into my bed because I know if I change my clothes and get into bed I'm gonna sleep for like eight hours straight and you won't be able to wake me up I'm just like this. <sighs> when I'm really tired, I am just like drop, like I just drop. I'm just seriously asleep. Anyhow, so I'm going to watch that. But anyhow, in the movie, Sonny, he runs out after he hears that the guy beat up his pregnant wife. Um, and it's an ambush the sister Connie I think her name is her husband the one who's beating her up and everything he's actually secretly in one of the other mob families he's on their side which is horrible right and so he's colluding with them and so they ambush him at the toll and kill him and that's how Michael Corleone becomes like the leader the godfather because his older brother is dead his younger brother Fredo is like sen isn't sensible. He's like there's he's a little slow. There's something wrong with him, um, like childish. Um, he that's why they send him to Las Vegas to go have fun. Anyhow, and then I think it's Tom. Tom is like their adopted brother. And then what is it? He becomes like an advisor or something like that. But Michael Corleone is the one that didn't want to be in the mafia he like joined the military and everything and then when his older brother dies he becomes the mafia that's why it's sad like he tried his whole life to get out of the mafia and then finally his grandchildren are about to get out of the mafia and oh, i don't want to give away the third movie everybody's seen the third movie sofia coppola's in it she plays his granddaughter and yeah she gets back into the mob it's just like oh <laughs> he tried his whole life to get out of it and then look at that Hey, you're back. How's it going? Oh, I was gonna actually turn that on. Yeah. I wanted to watch The View. I might cast it onto my, onto my television. Because I'm using Google Chromecast right now. Let me look. The View. Oh, John McCain is on The View today, and like his daughter is on the panel. I can't stand her, actually. Megan McCain. I mean, I understand that jo uh, John McCain is really this awesome veteran, and he deserves all the respect that he gets, but his daughter is so aggravating. You know, like, the types of people that are really pushy and forward when they've done nothing, and they're kind of, like, riding on the coattails of other people who have done things that are great. And that's the type of person. Like, she's not on The View because she's actually done something. She's not a senator. She's not a journalist. She's not an actor. She's nothing other than the fact that her father is, you know, John McCain. Like, what has she done with her life? She's just a normal person who doesn't 
Like, she's not even a housewife, you know? <laughs> like, at least housewives, you know, educate their children, work at home, create, like, a good space for their families and make sure that the family is positive and running well. You know, she's not even that, you know? I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. Like, Joy Behar was uh, an actor and a comedian. Whoopi Goldberg was an actor and a comedian. Uh, who's the other one? Oh, the one who sits between Joy and Whoopi was a journalist and an actor. And who else? Sonny Hostin was a lawyer. Like, you know, I don't know. I watch stuff like that just for the entertainment, but sometimes it's just really negative and you just have to change the channel. I don't like too much negativity. So... And this whole thing with uh, Trump and everything, I actually, it was weird. I was talking on my broadcast when the latest rounds of problems with that senator, I think her name was Wilson. Anyhow, um, I just thought it was really surprising that the chief of staff for the government basically, like, can you imagine if that happened here in Canada? One lie and they would be forced to resign. One lie, and they would be forced to resign here in Canada. So that's why I was like, holy crap. Like, there's a video of what she said. Anyhow, I don't want to talk too much about it because it's so negative, man. I'm going to go get a candle. <laughs> Just so I can stare at the candle, stare at the flame. That's what I was reaching for the other time when the, the mic fell. I was reaching for a candle over there, and it pulled the whole mic off the table. But somebody has been in here moving stuff around, so it's really difficult to see. That's a candle I was trying to get, so I, can, I know it's in a plastic container. It's like a plant pot container. I have to get a huge plant pot because somebody gave me a plant. Somebody from a political party gave me a plant. Look at how pretty it is. Can you hear it? Fire crackling. Anyhow, I like to stare into it. Look how bright it made the room. Anyhow, I like to stare into it and just like concentrate on it to just calm down sometimes and I'll like count to 10 or whatever and I'll feel better. Actually still having a good day even though it's like super busy and you can't get any peace and quiet mm -hmm. just hold on a second
ha team. I had to write something out just now for my dad. I'm looking into my flame. I'm trying to, to relax and look at my little flame thing. You can't see it. The flame is actually huge. I've never seen a candle flame that big before. Look, it's over top of the container. Oh, I got this thing in the mail. You know, I bought two items of clothing from this store. And so yesterday I was talking about this store. I already guessed it somebody earlier on. I hope you're not gross. <laughs> I'm sorry I've had to ask people because like, I've had to deal with some really bad people on here. Anyhow, so this came in the mail. I was like, oh my god, I love it. I love the clothes. I bought like a sweater and some pants and a shirt. And I'm going to buy some more clothes from here. I really like this one. Isn't that cool? I'm going to like get that. I like the hat too. It's cool. Let me guess. They don't sell it. Ugh. It's Nike. It says swish on the top, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah. I don't understand why people have, like, ripped exercise pants. If you wanted ripped exercise pants, why don't you just rip them yourself? You know? But, yeah. I just gotta work out. They have men's clothing, too, which is really cool. And you get 10% off. I'm so bringing this 10% off the next time you buy anything from Sports Check. I was complaining about Sports Check earlier in the last broadcast just because I went to their store. And it's, like, far for me. It's, like, 25 minutes by car to get to the store. The closest one to my house. And then... Um, there's a problem with my car on the way there, and then I finally get there, and then I find out that they only sell men's clothing at this one store, which I, I think is a, a bad idea. Women buy a ton of exercise clothing, and sure, they might, it might be worth having, like, a special women's section in the store, or, like, having a next door store, but it's all the way across the mall. So if I want to go get equipment or like some cool shoes and stuff like that, I have to go to one store. And then if I want to get like women's clothes, I have to go to another store, which I think is stupid. Like nobody's going to walk all the way across a mega mall, which is like 10 blocks long. <laughs> it's probably more than 10 blocks long because I think there's only one other mall in all of this province. Hi, your face lover. Um, God, I love this. I love these names. They're totally crazy. Anyhow, yeah, so I'm not going to go across a mega mall just to get like one shirt. So, and it is a little far to get to the mall. Like once, this lady from Quebec, so I'm French, so she stops me at the gas station, pulls up behind me. I was like, what's going on? Because like we were at, I was at the back pump and there's a little space to get by just in case like an emergency happens or something. So she comes across and stops. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do to offend this woman? <laughs> and she's like, can you help me find Chinook? And I was just like, oh my God. And so because she was French, we were far away. I was like, it is far. And so I just drove and let her drive behind me. And I drove straight to the, the mall so that she could get to it. Because it is far I was really surprised that she was in my area of the city and I was like, you're trying to get there? Yeah, you have to, well, there's two ways. If you live in my neighborhood, you can go through the back and it's fast to get there, but it's like windy, windy roads going up hills and you don't want to do that if you've never, you know, driven in that area. Um, and it goes right by a river and then if you go on like the freeway and <laughs> then it takes like only a couple maybe like 20 minutes of driving on the freeway but you have to know where you're going and it's one straight road and it goes right beside it
Nobody else is in here. It's been 36 minutes. Thank you to whoever gave me the extra likes. I almost had like 10 likes and we're on 73rd position. I'm not dancing or doing anything like that today because I'm really tired. Like I said, I am going to go to sleep after this. And it's weird. My ankles were killing me yesterday. So I feel like I need to work out a little bit more. But I'm going to be on the bike today just because my ankles ankles were hurting so bad like I kept rolling them like you know when you're doing a stretch I kept doing that over again and doing like shin splint stretches you know where you flex and uh, stretch your feet and it still hurt I couldn't believe it so I'm gonna get on the bike instead I don't know maybe it's just I'm carrying something that's heavy like the big camera bag and it's getting to me or I haven't laid down enough or sat down enough the last three or four days I've been walking all day like you saw in the first on my Fitbit thing and like the first I don't know four or five hours of the day I already had 4,000 steps I don't even know how many steps I have today I only have a thousand or two thousand steps right now Ugh. I have to get back up to the benchmark of 10,000 I feel like once I was at 10,000 to 12,000 steps a day that I was losing more weight. So I've got to do that. But I also haven't been eating very well. And I feel that it makes your bones brittle. And your, your body not as elastic. And I haven't really vigorously worked out in about a month now. So I've got to really do it before I get too lazy. <laughs> like this time last year I was running maybe 60 minutes at a time. Sometimes... 170 minutes at a time, which is like, ah, <laughs> so I've got to get back up to that. I saw this person at this party I went to a couple of days ago, and they were into running again and losing weight and, you know, doing their fitness challenge, so it was really cool to meet another person like that. Hi, Anonymous Younauer. We're 75 right now. Thank you to everybody that gave me likes. It was really cool. Um, unfortunately, it's like super loud in here. That's my YouTube channel. And I haven't looked at my merch for the longest time on Redbubble. I'm trying to find a different company to use because I feel like Redbubble isn't representing me very well. But it was just an easy way to do merch. So I'm going to go and see what kind of other um, companies you can use to make a little bit of profit on merch. I'm just not sure just yet. I might go to the same one that Eugenia Cooney goes to just because I like her business style. That couldn't have been an hour already. It's not an hour. I'm listening for like my clothes to wash and stuff. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff before I pass out. <laughs> That's how tired I really am. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and then I'm going to turn off all the lights and put on my little um, lavender-scented sleep, uh, um, what is it called? Not a bandana. Blocker. <laughs> just to cover my eyes, and yeah change my clothes into more comfortable clothing and not leather pants. <laughs> I'm very surprised how easy they are to wear. Leather pants. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, you can't really see me kicking my legs like that. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. You know, like Sandy off of Grease. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh, I do not like lying like that. For some reason in my mind a little thing flashed of like, you know, being in a coffin or something and I was just like, I don't like sitting down like that. It's time to sit up. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to make something warm to eat and then have some tea with honey in it. Actually, I don't, I don't have tea with sugar anymore. It sounds really weird, but I, I only put honey in it. I rarely eat sugar, like plain sugar anymore. And I went to like this dinner where there was like so many sweets, so much sugar. The food was all really wonderful. 
but so many sweets and I thought to myself this is not the place for you to get motivation <laughs> okay so I've been looking at the candle for a little while I'm gonna blow it out I feel a lot more relaxed after looking at it oh actually I'm feeling really good um, the only thing that sucked this week is that my shoulder, I jarred my shoulder a couple weeks ago, and I think I'm going to need to go back to the doctor and get some sort of cortisone injection again in my shoulder, because every now and then it's starting to hurt when I go like this, or if I try to pick up something, it'll hurt. It hasn't hurt so bad that if I try to pick up something that I have to let go of it yet, but I'm starting to feel in, like, my fingers, starting to feel super stiff in that hand, which is, uh, in that... I don't know, like from that arm, it just feels really, really weird. Thank goodness I don't write with that hand, so, yeah. Hopefully a little exercise and warming up and everything will make it feel better. My shoulder, I don't think it's ever going to get better again. Now that I think about it, I think it's going to be like this forever. Just because, like... It is not normal, and I don't know how you fix something like that. I've been lifting weights, but I don't think it makes any difference. <laughs> Hi, new person and anonymous person watching you now. Please go to my YouTube channel, which is right there. Hi, Reyna. How's it going? Yeah, I was selling this outfit that I'm going to get from Sports Check. Now that I, I think if you purchase something that's in Canada, it's a sports store in Canada. I don't know if there's a Sports Check in the United States. I really like this jacket. But I'm going to get her outfit. But I don't like how, like, the exercise pants are, like, ripped up in the front. I don't like that at all. It looks cool on her because she's doing a photo shoot and everything. But I don't know. Hey, I don't think it looks cool. Hi, new person. Hi, anonymous person. Yeah, I don't like that. The other day I was taking pictures at a school, like at a high school, and I swore every girl in the school had those pants. I was like, what's going on? Why don't you want to wear like full clothes? <laughs> you know, clothes that aren't ripped up. Those are the ones that I mean, right? So I just think it's weird that people don't want to wear like full clothes. Like, it's not California that we're living in. We're living in Canada, in, like, an area where at the end of this month, which is, like, next week, it's going to be snowing. It's going to be snowing. It's already snowed twice in the last month. Let's just put it into perspective. It has snowed once, and nobody was prepared for it in the city. So much so that they closed the highway between the city and the next community, like the two cities between Calgary and Chestermere. They closed the highway for half a day. Oh. Some crazy stuff has been happening in the last couple of weeks. I kind of don't even want to watch what's happening in the United States. At first I watched, I actually made popcorn. I'm sorry if you're in the United States right now, but I honestly did make popcorn and watch CNN. I was like, woo, this is so interesting because it was like drama. I can't wait to watch the rest of Scandal. <laughs> Hi, Hoof Arted. Oh, that's funny, Hoof Arted. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hi, Anonymous, you know her. But yeah, I was showing the leather pants. Ooh, I need to stretch some more. And they look so pretty. Actually, I was in one of those cities, and I don't know what I was at. Actually, I think I was at the Poker Run. So it's like a um, motorcycle tour across southern Alberta. And some lady was like, I like your pants. <laughs> I was like, why is she looking at my bum? <laughs> she likes the pants. It was weird kind of thing. But anyhow, yeah. They are very comfortable. The only thing I want to get is some a pair of mukluks. So I have like moccasins, but mukluks are like moccasins that go up to your knees and they keep you really warm. And a lot of people say, oh, you don't really need those. They're made out of like, uh, some of them are sheepskin and just like a special type of 
you know, leather. So, um, and fur and everything too. But a lot of people are like, don't wear that. It's horrible. It's cruelty to animals. And then they don't realize that, you know, sometimes like my, my sister's godmother lived in an area where it can be like minus 40 outside. She lives in like northern, northern Canada, north of 60. And so it's just like, people wear those because if you try to wear regular running shoes, your toes will freeze off. <laughs> For real. So that's why I have no problem with, you know, indigenous people wearing those things. Because they're necessary. You know, those types of shoes came out of a necessity to stay warm. Like... The other day we were talking about the clothing that you would have to wear and usually I wear this big, big, you know, winter jacket during winter and then I wear like a fleece underneath it and then I wear like under armor. It's not called under armor. It's like long underwear and it's like thermal underwear underneath all that and then I'm warm, right? They don't even wear all that stuff. They just wear fur clothing, like a fur bodysuit, like fur pants everything they don't even bother with all that stuff i was like really surprised because they were explaining what kind of clothing you're supposed to wear up there and it's because if you try to wear your regular skiing outfit that looks so pretty on the ski hill you'll freeze <laughs> and the thing is in certain places like it's like going and climbing mount everest right it's like this really wonderful challenge and stuff but nobody's gonna save you up there because they're trying to like save themselves right it's really sad that's why i don't like watching movies about plane crashes in the mountains or you know mount everest and stuff because there's so many i think there was a canadian lady a couple years ago that died up there and you know nobody could help her she froze to death or ran out of oxygen or something like that hey davy hey steve Hey, Anonymous, you now are... Sorry, I'm talking about um, Mount Everest. There's a new movie that's out with... Is it Idris Elba? The guy who's supposed to be the next James Bond. Anyhow, and I think it's Kate Winslet, isn't it, too? I'll have to check. But it's about a plane crash in the mountains and them surviving. And whenever I saw the, the preview for that movie, I thought about that movie alive. I do not like seeing stuff like that. I saw that when I was young, and <laughs> that's a story about, like, a soccer team. It's a true story that their plane crashed, and they had to result, resort to eating, like, the bodies of dead people and stuff to stay alive, and it was just so horrible, but, you know, you do what you have to do to survive. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. No. <laughs> But I wouldn't want to, you know, freeze to death up there. It was really horrible. So I don't like watching things like that. Even with some kind of similar twist, I don't like watching those things. Just like I don't like watching um, stories about mountaineers on Mount Everest. Like, when I was a kid, I'd watch tons of those because when I was a kid, I was really into being in the outdoors. I am still into being in the outdoors. I like being in the mountains in Canada and stuff, but I have no ambition to climb Mount Everest ever, 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 ever. If you've ever actually been to that area of the world and you actually see what the mountain looks like, it's not like the mountain that you'll see in Canada. It's got, I don't know what it is, if it's shale or the rock face, like if you climb a mountain here near Bath National Park, like, you know, it's dirt and trees and trails and like, a, it's still a mountain. Then when you get up to like a, you know, the mountain mountain, it becomes more rock and sheer faces and stuff like that. Sure, you can ask me something. Don't be a weirdo, though. If you're on, you know, don't be a weirdo. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. And Mount Everest, it looks more like, I don't know if it is shale or whatever, but it looks like, you know, those rocks that you put in your fireplace like your outdoor fireplace it looks like that and I just thought you know you could slip and fall and I think I saw something because you know I'm really interested in things and sometimes when I'm interested in things I'm too interested and they were looking for the body of a climber from like 
I think it was 80 years ago and they found it and it was like horrible. He was still perfectly preserved because it was so cold, but the wind had stripped away the clothing from the body and it was just so horrible just to think that, oh, in 100 years you'll be found like a fossil on this mountain. What? <laughs> Anyhow, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know how to close this. Okay, so I don't know. I just don't like watching those. And I think I watched a documentary on Mount Everest once where these people from like South Africa were crawl or climbing up the mountain. Actually, no, it was an American. It was an American guy, and it was the story about how he almost died on the mountain and they interviewed these people <clears throat> one was a couple from south africa they didn't know he was alive they walked right by him got up to the summit went down whatever and i think one of the groups gave him oxygen and then somebody came up and like somebody came up and saved him instead of trying to get to the summit themselves they saved him they decided, we're not going to do the summit today. We're going to save this guy and help him live, which I thought was like, oh, my God. So what happened was he must have, like, fallen or got disoriented or something, and he crawled into a cave and sat down like that trying to huddle and get warm. And the creepiest thing was there was a dead body right next to him. So they use, like, dead bodies as, like, this one man. I think they covered it up recently. He had, like, uh, green boots, I think, or something like that. And so they use it as landmarks. Hi, Jazzy Jan. How's it going? I'm just talking about that new movie that's coming out, you know, where the plane crash movie. You know what I, I want to see just because it's, like, super corny? Hi, Daisy Mae. That's a really nice name. Anyhow, um, that snowman movie... I want to see it because everyone's saying it is so corny, and I just want to see how corny it is. <laughs> oh, I'm showing this outfit. I have a new YouTube video that's out right now, so please go watch it. And fan me up on there if you haven't seen or gone to my channel. That's my YouTube channel. But I was just saying, I really like this outfit this one i might get it not the pants i think the pants are ridiculous that it's all cut up i, I like to have clothing that's intact and so i like this outfit too they send me these things in the mail and like you know if you purchase something i don't know how they get your information unless they get your information from visa i think that they do because i don't fill out information at those stores i don't tell people my address so it's weird. Hi, Day of the Unicorn. Hi, Joe. Hi, everybody. It's your first time on Uno. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, so I took a ton of pictures. Um, I'm going to actually retweet some of the pictures that are published, but I might actually put some on my Instagram of the fire. There's huge fire all over this part of Canada. And um i went out to this first nation and like the fence posts were still burning and like kilometers of land were burnt and the only thing that saved the houses was that they were on a foundation that was elevated over the, off of the grass all the grass was burnt i was so shocked i don't even know if i still have it on this camera but i definitely still have it on my computer at work yeah, I don't have it on this camera anymore, but it was so shocking, man. I thought, holy crap. So I'll try to send some of those pictures or put them on my Twitter page, too. Thank you to whoever gave me the extra likes. Thank y'all. Wow, I didn't realize it's almost an hour. But yeah, I've got to change my clothes. I've got to change out of the leather pants. and I could hear them kind of like, every time I move around, it goes... Rrr, 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 rrr. It's <laughs> so weird. Oh. I'm just trying to do a couple things before I go sleep. And I think I started this at like 145 or 155 or something like that. So I have to go to sleep soon. 
or else I won't go to sleep at all. And I don't want to be waking up at three in the morning. Oh, because, you know, sometimes when you're awake for too long and then you don't go to sleep properly and then you just can't sleep. At least that's how it is with me. Oh, thank you to everybody that gave me likes and everybody that shared my broadcast. I really appreciate you. Thank you to whoever um, captured my broadcast, too. I was being weird. I should have taken this opportunity to lift weights because I'm always complaining about my shoulder hurting. So I should have taken the opportunity to lift a couple weights and build up the muscles around my shoulders. So I'm going to do it now with the last four minutes left on the clock. Even my clothes are washed. I can see that the machine is done. It gives a little chime when it's done. Can you hear that? Anyhow, I've got to change my clothes, turn off all the lights, kind of bask in the dark, and then go to sleep. Hopefully none of my sisters come over, because they're all super loud. <laughs> oh, oh, we're 69th. I think there's only one time where I was like in the top 20 for girls. Once. Ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that's okay. Mm, I'm going to put on Carnival Spirit again. The lipstick. And I, never, I never actually did turn on the rest of the Godfather movie. I was so distracted. Carnival Spirit. I have to go to the dentist, too, next week. I think it's crazy that I'm going to the dentist literally, like, five days after Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's weird because, like... You know, you know that everybody's going to be eating so much candy. My nails all broke. So I've got to like take really good care of them so they don't like split. You know, sometimes when your nails break, it splits right up the nail. I just feel like they're growing back so fast. It's weird. Or maybe just because, like, I never noticed how fast they grew. I used to take skin, hair, and nails uh, pills to get my nails growing. But, jeez. Now they just seem like to be growing like crazy. Okay, guys. Did I say goodbye already? Oh, we have, like, one minute before I have to say bye. And to say, damn! <laughs> I can't do like a special finger dab. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. I don't want to laugh too much. It hurts my throat. <laughs> oh, and my side too, right there. Okay, guys. So I will see you later and I'll be on Snapchat if you want to chat. And I'll be on um, Instagram too. Even though it's going to like increase my phone bill by like a million percent. Bye.